what about what about hate? What about people who put up bomb address or bomb recipes, which guys do? Where, where does that enter into? Where does that become a problem, or or does it? See, you understand the question? I don't understand the question. It's uh, you have to be specific. On um, you have to, there, there is always a line between what you consider right or wrong. In the sense of the law, I don't think it's illegal to put anything, information on the internet, uh, unless you are, are, are soliciting people, asking them to, to commit crimes. Mm -hmm. There will always be things that I don't like being out there. I don't like that you have a page about me, mm -hmm. especially when it's lies there. But I acknowledge your right to publish lies about me. If, and opinions about me that I don't share, and I think it's a it's a it's a test of a democracy to see how much we dare to have out there. That's a test of a good democracy. So if you if if you invade people's privacy, I think that that's for example that's an example where you where you have to draw a strict line, mm -hmm. where individual freedom and the, the, the freedom to have your own privacy and stuff like that, that's important. Right. Um, I think uh, there's, there's done a lot of interesting exposés by individual journalists, for example, uh, revealing information that maybe is questionable why they're doing it, but in the bigger picture it was important to make the authorities aware of weaknesses in the system, for example. But, but but what about like uh, the Man Boy Love Association? The what? The Man Boy Love Association, or whatever that wacko group is. So you're talking about incest, for yeah. example. Yeah. 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 I mean, is well, that, yeah. Is that I know. I know. I know where you're trying to take me. You're trying to get something on tape that I will. That I will. You can. You can. You can say that I'm for That's incest true. or something. But I'm also trying to understand. No, I'm not. No, forget that question. Forget that. Oh. What I'm asking questions like, what? What if somebody puts a posting on? Your chat room or whatever, and no, and it, it it will be off topic, so I, I could remove it without So people. you will only put things. I'll, I'm trying to direct my my message board to be on topic. The topic subject the topic there is issues about Scientology, mostly criticism. That's the subject of the, uh, the theme of the of the message board. So, but but there's there is there is a strict line between saying, publishing, and doing things. Right. There is a very strict de definition. You're allowed to, th you're allowed to think. You're allowed to say. You're allowed to write. A hell of a lot more than you're allowed to do. And people should be, should be, should be more aware of that distinction. You shouldn't just follow your feeling and say, I don't like that. I don't. But people against. I mean, example is gay. People against gay will be say that's wrong. But I don't like it. I find it disgusting. So before you, you couldn't even say it. You couldn't be. You couldn't talk about it. Not nothing. But it's, it's not wrong talking about it, and it's now allowed to talk about it. And it, it's a good subject. Somebody had to break that line to go to dare to go out and actually start start talking about it and take the shit. Have people come and kick them, spit at them. I guess Scientologists spit at us when we were over at the other place. I mean, somebody had to go through that stage to dare it. In Norway, we had, for example, adoption of, of people with, 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 uh, with, uh, from China and Africa. People were arguing, saying, you must not do that. It's harmful for the kids because people will, will, will uh, treat them bad and coming to Norway and having not white skin. But somebody had to do it. Somebody had to do the one first to talk about it. And the same goes with free speech. You have to dare to see things out there that you don't like. And that, that shows how tolerant you are. There's a lot, many things I don't like. But wh wh why is tolerance, I mean, tolerance I understand, and tolerance of people's viewpoints. Because but what happens if you put out, let's say somebody posts something about, I'm going to go bomb a church. Well, that's soliciting violence and illegal actions. That's different. If, uh, in, and you would never in, do that. You would never post that. Of course not. I'm not, not. saying you would not. No, no. You would never post that. I'm, you I, would pull it down. I would, I would have to, I, I can't talk generally, I would have to see the instance. I can't, I can't say yes or no to you, there will be many different scenarios. But there's many, I think the last resort to, to fight something is censorship. Even the things that I, I like the least, I think the, 
lost the, the worst way of, of trying to hide it is censorship. In Norway, we have a big discussion about if racism should be illegal right. or we should handle it otherwise. I think if you try to shove it down, you will, there you go, out on the ground, it will be cool for someone to be a racist, a Nazis, for example. We said we should have it up, so we should confront them. We should argue with them. We should be able to put, stick your finger in it. That's stupid. You are, this is wrong. So I, I would much rather have you Scientologists up here on, on the street, talking to you, having signs, having an interaction. Let people pass and see what do you mean, what do I mean, and they can make up their own mind. That, yes, that will, without me, I won't go to list the subjects for you because I know how you will use it on tape. But for most subjects, I would rather have them up in the open so we can discuss them, so people can be aware, than we try to hide them. Is that a fair answer without me going where you... I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I just, but I think, see, but what you say, you know, is, is I don't disagree with, but if it's followed true, that it leaves too much license, you know? Yeah. You can say hateful things about me and yeah. the church, and, mm -hmm. and but it, I understand there's a freedom mm -hmm. to that, but also there's, a, there's a, an issue with religion that's a little bit different than others. I'll give you a good example. All right. If you go out on your webpage, hypothetically, I go, do what? Uh, if you hypothetically, I'm, talking, I'm not saying you would do it, I'm just yeah. saying an example. If you went on your site about me, saying I was a pedophile or a bank robber or a rapist or something, yeah. I would not prosecute you. And the reason is because, because you are you, and I use you as an example. But if somebody else I didn't know when I did that, I would consider prosecuting them because that's libelous, and I, there is libel laws, and I, I respect them and they, they should be there because it's, as I said earlier, it's private, what sacred is your private life. I don't care what you do when you close your doors, what you do in your head, when you, as long as you don't hurt others. So if you libel me, I would, the situation is very, it's very dependent on the situation, if you understand. But don't you think, but don't you think that the written word, somebody's written word, they have the right to control the written word? Sorry? You don't think that's, that an individual, an author, has the right to control the written word? To some, dis uh, uh, to some degree, yeah. First, a good example is copyright law. After, I think it's in Norway, it's after 80 years, it's free domain. Yeah. Why is it free domain? It's because the public, I mean, this guy wrote it, but suddenly it's open. In Norway we have libraries, so if you publish a book, I just had to fill. If if you publish a book, the pub the, you're allowed to put it in the library, even if right. the author doesn't like it. You're free, you, and you can rent it for free. Why is that right to the author? No, not necessarily. But it's right to society. We know that society has progressed because of the written word. It's very important for our society. Freedom of speech. We need to educate the people. Yeah. But those are those those are all things that people will agree with. What I disagree with yeah. is taking what someone has written, which they don't want republished, and thinking you have the right to publish it when it's not your property. It's many property people many author. people don't like that it's in the in the library because they don't rather want to sell their book in the in the bookstore, but it's still in the library. Well, that's not on my point. Exactly, because we had to get that to that point. We had to get someday. Somebody sit down and made the legislation, legislation saying we have to have we have to allow public libraries. People didn't like it, but somebody had to do it. It was right, and I think it's right. There are things today that aren't necessarily accepted among all. That could be issues like uh, like uh, free use of, of coding and so free use of, of text. And we have we have the right of free use. I can take any text of Hubbard, put it in a context to, to use as criticism or to make fun of it or whatever. I'm allowed to. And I've done it for eight years, and Scientology have never been able to sue me or or prove me wrong. So everything I've done has been within the law. It doesn't mean that it's right. Well, it isn't right that you put stuff on your page that's a lie about me or him, but, but I, you won't take responsibility you, you, for that. You, you can't, won't even talk to you me. You can't claim it. it's illegal. If it's illegal, Scientology would have sued me, put no, me I to jail. No. They I, would. I, I, they would. Okay. And that may be. Talk freedom, and I would hope that freedom. the people protect their. And, I, and I've done what I've done for eight years. I've never been sued, never been convicted, of course, since I have been sued. Police have never done any anything. Of, they, have, they have investigated me, never found me to do anything wrong. So, right. your question is, I, so I think everybody should obey to the laws, even if they disagree. Right. And I disagree with a lot of laws. I'm here in America. I respect I'm a guest in your country. I obey to the laws. When I'm back in Norway, I expect you to do the same.
and I expect all my fellow Norwegians to obey the law, even if they disagree. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. And take out the questions. lies that are off your huh? page. And I'm out of questions. <laughs> and you're going to take you. the lies off your page. Take care. Yes? You're going to do that? You know, you know my email if you have more questions. You know my email <laughs> if you have more questions. I can't believe you. I will. The lies and not find out the truth, right? No. What's wrong with that? Yo, you know me. It's a lie. But you won't ask me. You won't talk to me. You won't find out the truth. You can talk bullshit all you want, man. I've ended my search. You can say responsibility. But I've ended my search. I know, you've ended it right now because you got the no. bullshit you want, I, but you don't want to talk ended. about the responsibility of you putting up lies on the website about me, man. And I'm fucking pissed off about that. I would just really I'm tired of their shit. Take it up. Hey, take, I've tried a conversation with you, and you won't listen. You won't Peter. talk. You're done. Let's go. Okay. See? No. Why do you go? Let's go. Because I don't, I don't, don't see you talking about yelled. the lies that you put up. You just want to interview somebody, but you don't want to face the fact that you have oh, lies up about me that are not true, and you won't talk to me oh, about them, and you won't fix them. They're flat out lies, Joel. They're not a little bit lies. They're flat out lies. Thank you, Rev. That's not free speech, that's bullshit.